But one of the problems that's stopping people getting pregnant is low libido yeah. at the moment. And in a recent survey, a third of women said they just don't feel like sex anymore. Right. Now, for, for most women and, and most men, intimacy, romance, sex is a very important part of sure. their relationship and their life. And it's a shame when it's lost and it mm. can cause all sorts of hassles. Mm. So... I think it's important to say that whilst we've got Viagra, and this, is come, this coincides with a period of time when men can now go and buy Viagra over the counter without a prescription. Right. What, what Viagra does for men is completely different for what might help libido in women. You know, it's not a pelvic thing usually with women, as yeah. it can be with men, although libido and erectile dysfunction are completely different. For, for women, they need what, what goes on in the brain. Mm. And the first question to ask is, is the libido a global thing or is it just your partner? Right. Would you feel the same if it was George Clooney, right. Brad Pitt, no. Johnny Depp? No, they don't do it for me. Well, they George, obviously. George, obviously. I knew George, George did. <laughs> or all four. I don't know. But if you've got no interest in sex, then, you know, that, that could signify a physical problem or sure. a psychological problem. So it could be something to do with the menopause. It could be something to do with depression. Uh, not sleeping, anxiety, mm. just tiredness, too many responsibilities, fears okay. of the kids coming in. Yeah. But if it's causing problems in your life and the media insists that we should all be having rampant sex lives every five minutes, but that, or, or you're a failure, and that isn't realistic, no. is it? No. If you've got a problem with it, please go and see somebody sure. because there are things that, that, that can be done to, to cool. help. 